The poor Tezzy Wezzy. He gets so hungry, you know? He gets so hungry. Okay. Uh, we did a little night stream last night. It wasn't a long one, but we did manage to turn Chaz into a vampire. <laughs> because if you were here yesterday, you'll have known that we had an infestation pop up here. And um, we fought it here in this uh, in this corridor. Chaz bravely stood in the doorway with his monoblade, slicing and dicing. And then um, Cambiar shot him in the back of the head, which gave him permanent brain damage. And he's only he's only operating on forty percent of his total brain power. Yeah. He was in the way, true. The misfortunes of Count Chazula continue. Yes. Will he recover from his weed addiction? Never. Will he recover from the hole in his fucking brain? He will, uh, apparently. Yeah, Dr. New. Um, so listen, it, we've, we've gone twofold. Not only have we turned him into a vampire, which means that he cannot die, and he will regenerate um, and repair over time, in his coffin, which he refuses to sleep in. He's in a, he's in a death sleep right now. Because um, we did some uh, we did some gene therapy on his wife, Robot. And uh, while she was in gene therapy, their Psylink broke, which was fatal to Chaz. And uh, he, he died. But he's got a uh, cheat death mechanic as a vamp vampire where he just goes into, like, one of his death sleeps. Um... So he's in a death sleep right now, but we didn't have a coffin built for him at the time. So he's just in a normal bed. So we're just feeding him blood packs that we have left over from <laughs> when we had our prisoners visiting. Um, and uh, once he's uh, once he's up and running, apparently it takes about 30 in-game days for him to start uh, healing past some of his afflictions. So we're waiting to see what happens first, basically. He's either going to regenerate his right little toe, which is currently destroyed, or um, he is going to overcome his permanent gunshot injury to his brain. Either one. But we're also getting set up to do some uh, some some gene stuff here, the xenogenetic stuff. So we might be able to fix his brain ahead of time. And fix other people's ailments too. Inga, if you remember, had uh, had developed some bad hearing on her 57th birthday. Sadly, she never got to see her 58th birthday because she was killed by a grenade. And we never got to fix her hearing either. But if she was around with all this gene therapy, we would have fixed her hearing. Don't forget about the sex genes we managed to extract from his space whore of a wife. That's right, yeah. We uh, we extracted some uh, some very high libido genes from uh, from his wife, which in the weirdest way caused him to die. But he didn't die. But it caused fatal damage to him. The whole process of extracting her high libido genes. Rimworld, everybody, it's uh, it's insane. Okay, um, things that we're looking to do um, in the in the near future. We need a, a better prison. Uh, we need uh, we need we need a, a a different prison with separate cells. We can't have them in a, a in a prison barracks because the uh, the prison breaks are hard to manage if we have more than one prisoner, right? Chaz can't handle a boner right now. No, no, he's in. Uh, he's he's in his like death sleep right now. I'm pretty sure you can't have a boner while you're death sleeping. An imp attack is gonna happen. Um, wait, do we have an imp attack? Oh yeah, we accepted a quest that's gonna um cause a, an imp attack to happen as well, right? Thanks for the reminder. Hunting worksite observed. Attack of fortune. It's this one. So we got an archer chief, an archer, two archers, two heavy archers, two hunters, two hunters, a penitent, and a warrior. Who are uh, arriving on foot in one and a half days. The murder hallway is pretty much ready to go. We're missing a little bit of wood. 
So if we just chop a bit of wood so that we can rearm these traps and stuff, we should be good. Okay, let's hold these slate chunks in as well. Don't accept a quest like that when you have five colonists. It's fine. We got a... a the murder hallway has done a lot of work for us. It's been pretty good. Um, another thing, because Chaz is operating at 40% brain power, he can no longer handle smoking weed. It knocks him out. Every time he, he smokes it. The problem is, is he's hopelessly addicted to weed. So he will try to smoke one every day. And if the auto bong is on... It get oh my god are you s okay at least it wasn't in the base I'm surprised that this happened oh I see overhead mountain we exposed some overhead mountain quite a bit of it as well actually okay well at least it's not inside the base uh, you know what this could actually help with this raid that's coming uh, we just have to now forbid people from <laughs> going out this way it's time to zone off this whole area. Hey, you're right. You are, you're you're right. You know, you're right. What uh what is it under? A sign? Lavish current outfit schedule work architect zone home area clear home area. How do we assign people to uh to zones? Where is that even? In here? Oh, it's in here. Manage areas. Allowed areas. So we want to just keep people in the in the home area for now, right? And nowhere else. We do not want them venturing out here to pick up this royal jelly, for example. Okay, let's see if uh, these guys help us with these imps a little bit. And then we're going to have to patch this up. I think the overhead mountain thing is true, right? What are they doing? They're mining. Do they mine out the mountain more so that they can make more infestations? Or do they have more places to lay their disgusting hives? Imp raids are so annoying early on. Well, we're about to have one. We got, we've got one coming. And Chaz... Chaz is not, uh, he's got, he's got one and a half days left of his death rest. That's it. Even when he's up and running, though, I don't think he's going to be much use to us. They call them, they don't call them, don't call them disgusting? I'm sorry, but they are disgusting. Look at them. We're going to have to deal with this infestation at some point. Because it's... Um, well, we got this raid coming too. Maybe we... Okay, I think the sequence is we let the raid fight the infestation. And then whoever wins, we kite them through the death hallway, right? Because I think they will bump into them and fight. We do have a mortar, yeah. The, the If we attack them with the mortar and it hits... They'll, they, they will attack through the hallway. But the problem is, is we don't want to... Um, we want to see if they fight first. So we don't want to use the mortar just yet. Don't do it before the imps. It could be so bad. What, the imps you think are, are bad? I don't know. They breathe fire and stuff, but I don't think... I think most of them will just get killed in this hallway before they even get a chance to, right? I feel like. I feel like that's what's going to happen. We're in a holding pattern now. We're just kind of waiting for this to happen. And then we can start building our new uh, prison and stuff. I guess we want probably... You're, you're right, though. We probably want to have the new prison sooner rather than later because some of these imps might be worth converting as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's delete this hay grass zone. Let's go orders. Cut all these plants. 
See if we get anything. <clears throat> you can make the imps Chaz's blood bags. That's it. That's exactly it. Where are you going? Whoa, 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 Max. Oh my god. Okay. Chaz is down. Again. Whoa. -oh. Okay, hang on a second. What is this zone? Clear home area. We can't have this as home area around here, right? We don't want them coming out here. This is not considered home the home area. Right? It can't be. Okay, perfect. Same within here. No, 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 no. No. This is all fine out here to be the home area. But... We don't want them... Look, nothing's going to get through this wall, we hope. <laughs> you never know, I suppose. Disable auto-expand the home area? Zone? Where is that? A snow removal area? Expand the home area? Is it just in the options? The bottom left toggle. Where is that? The bottom right buttons. Oh, down here. Um, so, toggle pollution overlay. Categorize mode, toggle heat overlay. Visibility of roofs. Um, terrain affordance, beauty display, room stats, colonist bar, toggle automatically expanding the home area around new constructions. Okay, let's turn that off. That's a good idea. All right, this imp attack is due like any second now. I'm a display of beauty. Thank you so much. Okay. They're here. They might try to burn down um, this uh, this field of trees, right? Okay, let's make it so that nobody goes out here. It, it could be that they don't actually fight these guys. We'll have to see. It's kind of, a, it, kind of unlucky where they've attacked us from. There's quite a few of them. They're all tribals, though. Like, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Okay, they're beginning their assault. It looks like they're not going to burn down the trees. They are going to make their way over here and potentially fight some of these bugs. Let's just see. It doesn't look like they're going to be fighting the bugs. Okay, Ass Blade. No, wait. We want Briggsy Jones, Robot, Cambiar. Go here. Ass Blade. Let's get you here. Clayton. Let's get you here. Oh yeah, no, they are fighting them. There's some cargo pods here too. It's full of corn. They're going for it. What a damn mess. Okay, robot, do not. Oh, she's going to extinguish the fire. I see. Okay, yeah, don't do that right now. Not a good idea to get in there. Some pods have arrived. Oh, this is our stuff. 
So we got the orbital bombardment targeter because we survived the raid, and we got some uranium as well. Uranium fever is gonna go me down. Okay, let's put the uranium in here, and then in here we'll put the. What's this thing? Is it an item? Misc? Orbital bombardment thing. Okay. Alright, we gotta be on the lookout for bugs getting through. We're gonna lose a robot. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna lose a robot. But um, we should be able to take these hives down. It looks like one of these guys survived, but he's... He's dead in five hours. He's really good at mining. <laughs> he would have made a good blood blood bag as well, but what can you do? Okay, Askblade, you're going to have to back up a bit here because... What's-his-face is going to... Oh, my lord. Okay, nice. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's a mega spider on fire out there. He's in no immediate danger. Alright, we're gonna go clear all this stuff out now. Do, 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 do. We did it! Alright. We might have to... Um... We could try to capture this guy, but it's likely that he is dead, right? He's dead in three hours. Okay, schedule. Let's unrestrict these guys. Mechs, unrestrict as well. Let's get this jelly in. What are these glow pods? I've never seen these before. Maybe I have, actually. It's a medical emergency on... They got him in there. Unbelievably, they got him in here. And he hasn't died from the, um, from the weed. He might actually survive. Yeah, he's going to survive. I can't believe it. <laughs> he said that we've done it. All right. We'll have to transport him over to, uh, to Chaz's uh, evil lair, but... We've got a dopest fair opportunity as well. Nice. Got another transport pod crash as well. There's a pig man in here. Who's going to die in three hours. He's a pig skin from the nation of Bop Wewel. Okay, let's tend to this guy without medicine quickly. He's got three hours to go. Very unlikely that he survives by the time Briggsy gets out there. There's quite a bit of fire threatening the old uh, camp here. He's dead in two hours. He's got a lot of cuts and scratches and a gunshot to the right arm, which is probably the, the main offender. Yeah, he's totally dead. Briggsy's never going to make it to him in time. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's tended the cut. He's tended the gunshot wound. <laughs> I think he's got him. Come on. No, no. Yeah, he's doing it. He's done it. Oh my lord. Without medicine as well. 
He's he's too good. Okay, let's capture this guy too. We now have two prisoners. He might die in the hotbox prison, yeah. This guy has not though. He's got extreme blood loss. We'll do a blood transfusion on him. Clayton and Robot both have food poisoning now. Alright. It's going to take us a little while to recover from this. Ass Blade is on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> the weed got him. After all that, we got to turn this bong off in the prison. Oh my god. How many prisoners have we lost to, to being overwhelmed by weed smoke? <laughs> oh no. Oh, who's having a party? Robot's having a party. Poor Assblade is uh, needing rescuing here. Sometimes they're just in such a weakened state that they can't survive the, the weed smoke, right? Okay, we can do a dopest fare, which we should probably do. Chaz is back up. Health-wise, still not doing too good, you know? Oh, shit, we're going to have to switch this thing off for Chaz. Okay, everybody, party's over. Chaz is awake. Clayton and Robot both need to be rescued now as well. Who wants to do it? Not Chaz. Oh, he's back. I think they just get knocked out because of the food poisoning, right? Oh, Chaz is out now as well. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, man. What a mess. Okay, Chaz... Oh, yeah, he can't walk. He's not in a good way. He tried to smoke. He tried to... Why is there so much food poisoning? I think because Chaz is our main cook. We're trying to train Clayton up on uh, how to cook, and he's made uh, a bad batch of meals, it looks like. He can't stop puking. Oh, Assblade is actually rescuing the robots. Kind of nice. We gotta repair them, though. Here we go. The man himself. He's back on the case. He's making fine meals. He's gonna make some real fine meals. Hopefully, he's gonna eat a fine meal that's not food poison. Great. That's just great. Let's finally start using up some of these ingredients. Man, we have so many of them, too. Robo robot's been overwhelmed by uh, puking and weed smoke, it looks like. I think we just got to leave her. Okay, this guy has had his blood transfusion. Prisoner? Hemogen farm. Turn off the bong. What, the one in here? All right, fine. I'll, I'll do it. It pains me to do so, but... You know, when you're right, you're right. It's time to turn off the bongs. A weed colony that can't stand being stoned. We're going to have to assign these guys to um, one weed per day. Just in case they didn't get the memo that we like smoking weed in this. Chaz is out. <laughs> Chaz can't handle it. It's fine. He'll get better. Okay, it's it's annoying now, but one day he's gonna get he's gonna feel so much better, right? Every time he hits it though, it just it just blasts him. He can't he can't handle it. Supplies for Grey Ridge. There's a combat supplier ship as well. A nearby settlement, Grey Ridge, has a special trade request. They would like to purchase. 1,240 chem fuel worth 2,852 bucks. If you want to make the trade, send a caravan with the requested items. The estimated travel time is 15 hours. They're going to give me an orbital power beam targeter. 
some three death rest capacity serums and 106 gold or humps who's not really that great honestly he's an impid and he's a psychopath and he's incapable of intellectual artistic and hauling all right well that's a big skip if i've ever seen one okay robot combat supplier let's see what they got Let's make some trades. Components? Yes. Advanced components? None. Basic subcore, medicine, we're fine for. Sell this flake back to them. We don't want it. Reinforced barrel, steel knife, poor. Sell the plasteel knife. Not the mono sword though, we'll keep it. There's a poor chain shotgun here. I think that one belongs to Assblade who dropped it. Okay, the LMG normal, we can sell it. Frag grenades, tox grenades, normal flak vest, steel simple helmet, we want them, gold. Um, there's a marine helmet normal here, but we don't have that much money. Is there anything else that we might want from these guys? Marine helmets are kind of good, aren't they? Marine armor is pretty good too. We need to start making some if we can. I think we need plasteel for that though, right? Um, there's a gene pack for great shooting plus two. Should we get that? Great shooting plus two, a small capsule containing a package of genetic information. To use gene pack, it must be placed in a gene bank near a gene assembler and combined into an implantable xenogerm. It has tinder skin. What does that mean? Great shooting, tinder skin, and only bushy beards. Weak to fire. Do, 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 do. View. Tinder skin. Carriers have dry, thin skin, which burns easily from fire, and their immune systems react very poorly to this kind of threat. Damage from fire is multiplied by four. Oh, God. Okay. Let's not get that. It's a bad, a bad gene, right? If we could have combined great shooting with high libido, I feel like the world could have been our oyster. <laughs> no? Anyone else feeling that... The world could have been our oyster there as well. Okay, let's make a couple of little prison cells, a la prison architect, right? They don't need much. They don't need much space, right? Let's just get a couple of... Um... Look, we're doing the exact same thing we would do in prison architect, right? Let's make like four of these and separate them. My, my vision is wasted on being a streamer. What, my vision for uh, a better tomorrow? I think you're right. I think you I think you're you're absolutely right. And you know what? When you're absolutely right, as absolutely right as you are, you're just that's it. You're just you're just right. You're right as rain. Okay, um let me um shrink this zone. Shrink a zone. And then let's um, orders cut plants. Cut all these plants. Okay, combat supplier is done. All right. We have to uh, also patch up some of this stuff too, right? Structure. Let's just make some wooden walls in here. We gotta patch this up so that there's not another infestation. Make one nice prison room for recruitment purposes. Okay. Sounds good. Yak 2 is wandering away. 
We researched bioregeneration. That's us. Moisture pump, growth vats, vitals monitor would be good. I don't really care about this yak, honestly. I don't care about any of these animals now. They're dead to me. I don't have anybody wrangling them up or anything. It's crazy. I think one of them needs to be slaughtered. How did they even get out in the first place? Maybe we'll just never know. I'm starting to hate my base. The bigger the base gets it, I hate it more, you know? You guys ever get like that? Like, the I have not planned the layout at all, and then now it's just like, it feels so, um, like, higgledy-piggledy, you know? Like, it's... Like, even this shit here, like, what am I doing? And this room here, I hate it. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I should have actually just made another building with, like, proper hallways and stuff. And then just had, like, some decent-sized rooms. Make a caravan and move? No way. No way, Jose. I'm not moving now. We're here. We're, we're, we're here for life. This is, this is our home. Yeah, the shit show of organically growing buildings is kind of tough, isn't it? You can mark prisoners as blood feed and Chaz will feed on them automatically. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, blood feed. So what, he's just going to go in there and just, just feed whenever he needs to? He's, this guy this guy will never break out of prison it says it says prison break interval never that's good right if you cut their arms and legs off you can stop them from trying to escape also oh because he's incapable of violence do, 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 do. okay let's begin the dopest fair. You need four wood for each participant. 24 total. You have four wood. I can't believe that this has happened to us. Why are we so... Why am I so bad at this game? Like, every time I want to do something... I have, I have a, a freezer with more food than I'll ever be able to use. And that's my claim to fame. Everything else sucks. The layout sucks... All of the people are fucked. Chaz is a fucking waste of damn time. I don't even know why we bothered turning him into a vampire. We should have just shot him. We can't even have our auto bongs on. Like, uh, I, I'm so annoyed by so many things, you know? We have 200 toxic packs as well. That's true. That reminds me, actually, we need to get a... We need to start launching some of this stuff to um, Pooh Island. Having lots of food is pretty good, I guess. Yeah, but maybe you need to have lunch and think about it. Oh, come on, you guys. There's no way at this point in time that this was a sensible thing for you to do. Fucking robot is pregnant. Fuck, is it going to be a vampire baby now because of Chaz or what? What a moment. It's going to be a robot baby. And Chaz will then eat the baby. Chaz will make the baby and eat the baby. I don't want him to do that. This is not how I wanted my day to be today. No, 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 no. You can check the genes. You can check the genes on the baby. Health. First trimester pregnant. 
father is Chaz. Hunger rate offsets plus 10%. Jeans, skin color, and dark black hair. All right. That's, that's it? It's not going to get anything else from this relationship? Near the draft button. What do I want to do? Reassure. Inspect baby jeans. Oh, there you go. Look. Can we inject the baby with better jeans, like, from the get-go, or not, or not really? Oh, vampire is a xenotype, and it's not inheritable? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. How do we... We can just deconstruct these things? Just Chaz doing Chaz things as usual? Okay, so here is Overhead Mountain. Overhead Mountain, Overhead Mountain, Overhead Mountain. It's like this, this bit in the middle here that we need to do, right? So we should be able to do these first. Okay, Robot is having a frenzy. I think maybe being pregnante is giving her a new lease on life. If you don't want to take care of the baby, you can just put it into a tube to grow it. Oh, the growth vats. Is that, oh, that's what you do for the babies. So if you don't want them to like look after the baby in a crib and stuff, you just chuck it in a tube and wait for it to grow. And is that until they become a child? And then when they're a child, they go through all the learning shit? It grows fast as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Holy shit. Imagine you could do that in real life. Man, oh man. You can stop any time, but they'll learn slower. Press the house icon on the top right of the screen. You can see the overhang mountain location. I don't have a thing on the top right of my screen. Oh, you mean this one here. Visibility of roofs. So this is all overhead mountain here. The dark green one. Okay, we'll patch that up. Shit, there's a whole bunch in here too. There's some potential infestations spots. Really bad ones. Look, even here there's a little one. There's one here? Oh, crap. I don't mind the infestations happening outside of the base, actually. So we'll patch them up. This one's quite close to the entrance of the base, which is a little bit of a problem, though. There's some inside the freezer? Yes. Okay, there is some inside the freezer, but the, the thing is, with the ones inside the freezer, it's so cold... I think I think uh, really cold temperatures are a deterrent for the uh, for infestations. It's too cold for them, yeah, to uh, to spawn. Cause it's like, what is it in here? Minus nineteen degrees. I love how people just ignore Chaz now. He's all he's always up to his tricks, right? He's always trying to smoke his dubs, and it and it never goes right. Okay. Poor Chaz. You've had an insect spawn in a freezer before? It was it hot though? Was the power off or something? Because apparently the low temperature helps. It's minus seventeen for no insects to spawn. It was a freezer. Was it was it minus seventeen or below? Or did you have it at like the standard like minus five? Because I think if it's only minus five, they'll still spawn. Many people have their freezers set to minus ten. That's see, that's no good. Just have Chaz bite someone to turn them into a vampire, and he dies, but trans transfers his genes. No, no, it's okay. He'll get he. We're we're, we're getting there with Chaz. He'll he'll feel better at some point, right? Architect, biotech. Um, what's the other thing that we need that we that we got? Was it gene? There's the gene assembler, the gene extractor, and the gene bank. 
what was the other thing that we that we unlocked? The gene, uh, the the therapy thing that we could potentially do on him now as well, right? We got a good doctor. Where does that come under? Oh, it's under ideology. Oh, the bio sculptor pod. This is the one. All right. Let's make this thing and then maybe we can fix his brain damage. If we can fix his brain damage and make him functional again, he'll be fine, right? Okay, well, we've got, we've almost got some cells built here. He's building the roofs. This is going to be our Chaz's blood farm. One of them, at least, is going to be blood farm. The vampirism hasn't fixed him yet, Dowie. Apparently, it takes a little while for it to happen. It takes like It can take like 30 days plus to work. Bio sculptor works faster with sterile tiles. What in the in the whole room? It's a royal tribute collector. We still haven't reformed yet for slaves, right? So we can't. And we wouldn't give this guy anyway because he's gonna be our. Uh, he's gonna be Chaz's um, meal ticket. <laughs> so does that mean that Chaz doesn't need to eat normal meals? He just has to feast on the blood of his um, his farm. Oh yeah, festival time. Begin the dopest fair. Seventy percent. Hey, you guys are just in time. We're just having our big uh, annual fair here where we launch lanterns into the sky. Sorry, we have no tribute to give to you. We're too busy having a lot of fun. Ooh. It was a beautiful dopest fair. It's plus six mood for six days. Nice. We also got uh, plus three points. We're, we're nearly ready to do a reform. We're so close. Maybe we can try to do a conversion ritual. We can try to convert um, Thalv. Thalv. It's a 66 percenter led by robot. We've got five participants. Robot's social impact is 107%. Okay, let's try it out. And maybe we can get this final point that we need and then we can uh we might be able to actually engage in uh slave activities. Yeah, we just want the progress point, right? We don't really care that this person is just a big blood bag for our vampire. It was a masterful conversion ritual. Plus six mood for six days. Due to the quality of the ritual, your development points have increased by plus two from nine to eleven. Incredible. And I think. Oh, there's a manhunter pack. Jesus. It's <laughs> a lot of wolves. Good, good lord. Okay, Mex. Home. Schedule? Home? Okay, Chaz. We gotta get um, Briggsy in. Let's get um, Cambiar in. Let's get Assblade in. Let's get Clayton in position as well. Robot can go to bed for a bit. That's fine. Chaz has assumed the position. We can't take control of the mechs while Chaz is down. Okay, good. We can we can we can thin the uh, thin the herd a little bit. Where are the other ones gone? Oh, they're all down here. They've attacked some of my robots. Jeez, that's a lot of wolves.
Fine. Okay. There's there's a lot of them coming through. We'll we'll be able to to kill a fair few of them, I believe, though. And then the ones that do get through, well. Get Assblade and Clayton back here, actually. Osmo, not like this. Jesus. Cambiar, get out of there. She's gonna blow. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, good. Whew. Crisis averted. That's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of foxes that are gonna be dying here. Chaz is uh, is knocked out. Robot's asleep. That's fine. And uh, Cambiar probably just has a couple of bites and stuff, right? Yeah, he's fine. He's in no immediate danger. He's got his prosthetic heart, right? So he's he's feeling fine. Okay, so we need to go to schedule, restricted, max, unrestricted. Perfect. Whew. It's fine. It's fine. We can recover from this. Assblade needs a weapon? For oh, next shit. reform, make sure to look over different options. Add a style for unique furniture. Add a meme for new advantages. Remove apparel preferences for flexibility. You can do lots of changes with one reform. Oh. Not just one. Oh, you can add a whole bunch and not just one? So it's like a, like a reform session. Okay, listen, Chad, I got to go pick up my kids from uh, school. And uh, I'm going to have a quick uh, bite to eat and stuff, too. So I'll see you uh, in a second. We'll carry on. Okay. See you in a sec. Guess who's back? That's right. It's me. Oh, man. I made it. I got tea as well. You'll be pleased to know. Oh, my God. Look at all these dead foxes. So many. <laughs> oh my god. Do we need to keep this guy happy? Sorry, her? A female heavy archer? Does it matter if they're pissed off in jail? Probably not, right? No. You are pleased to know. Okay, good. I'm happy to hear that. Power? Power conduit? Yeah. Like that. Perfect. Just like that. They're recruited faster in jail and try to break out less if happy. All right. Uh, we're not trying to recruit them. Uh, this one. We don't want this one to be recruited. Although, it is part of dopestry now. Um, undergrounder, nimble, and trigger happy. Um, part of the, of this faction. I mean, very good at mining, but, and, and shooting in melee pretty good as well, honestly. They got a fire spew ability here as well. Uh, the undergrounder is kind of, uh, I don't know. No matter how long she stays inside and is not bothered by darkness, she will never feel co cooped up or get cabin fever. Has no need to experience the outdoors or light. Give him peg legs and harvest them for blood. Well, she's not going to try to. Um, she's not going to try to escape. Apparently. No, she is. Okay, yeah. So what? Give him peg legs. If you give them, if you remove both of their legs, they just have to stay in bed, right? And then you can just feed on them all the time. All right. Oh, yeah, we got reform uh, now as well, right? Oh, no, we need 11 out of 12 to do a reform. Shh. We need 12 out of 12, sorry. Oh, God. Okay, we got to do... We got to find uh, another point somewhere. 
We're gonna, we're gonna have to do some like we're gonna have to throw a party or some shit. I don't know. What kind of things can we do? Inspect baby jeans. Uh, we can do a public execution. Conversion ritual, twenty days. Um. God, we need to add some more rituals to our repertoire, right? So we can farm up some points. Chaz is still slow, yeah. Give them peg legs and then remove the peg legs. They can't escape if they can't run. Right, so can you not just remove, like, both of their legs and then not give them peg legs? Is Chaz still doing brain blasts? Yes, he is, yeah. I think we could just remove both of her legs, right? You can remove the peg legs after installing them. They don't let you amputate unless there's an infection wound in that area. Oh, right. Remove the arms as well while we're at it. <laughs> this is fucking... This is getting a little bit dark now, Chad. I don't know. I'm not sure about all this. Holy crap, there is so much blood. There is so much blood and so many dead foxes <laughs> in in our murder hallway. <clears throat> okay. Chaz is having a go frenzy? Wait, do you think Chaz... Oh, he's having a go frenzy in bed. No, he still has a permanent gunshot injury uh, to his brain. His brain is not doing too good. And Cambiar is starving as well. Slowly recovering. Slowly recuperating. Chaz on his ass again. Alright, cool. Cambiar should be feeling better pretty soon. Um... We got so much cloth. Holy crap. We really have to cut down some of these farms, right? There's no way that we need this this much cloth. Zone? Shrink zones? Let's shrink this zone right down. Let's make it like this big. That's much better, I think. Okay, and then we can start um, furniture, a bed. Let's move some of these beds out of here. Um, let's make an end table. And then let's also put in a furniture standing lamp for them as well. Man, this is going to be pretty grim. These are some small-ass cells. <laughs> Jeez. Chaz is an absolute degenerate. He's annoying as hell, isn't he? Good lord. Something's got to give with this fool. He cannot walk. Okay, he's back to walk. Maybe we just got to go in here and do a death rest. Let's do a coffin death rest. Okay. Maybe if we if he does a death rest, uh, he can like regenerate uh, while he's death resting, you know. Get Chaz to repair robots while he's up. He's not up though. That's the problem. He's not up. He's down. He's always down. He's forever down. He keeps falling down. Now he's death resting. I don't think we can do anything with the robots. See? Chaz is down. <sighs> we might have to remove the mech link from uh, Chaz, right? Down to par party, maybe? Uh, he might be down to party. Yeah, you're right. There's a mad rat approaching. None of our uh, traps have been uh, rearmed. This mad rat is going to be able to walk right in. Run away!
Rat down. Very good. Good. Rat destroyed. The rat has been destroyed. I can't believe how much meat we have in here. It's just too much meat. The muffalo wool, the steady supply of muffalo wool, pretty nice though. It's gotta be said. Do, 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 do. Okay, so in here we want manufactured textiles. We just want wools, but not leathers, right? And then the same in here too. Let's move the leather leathers down here so that we can sell them. Because we're not really using them, right? We got devil strand, loads of devil strand, loads of cloth, and loads of muffalo wool to build um, stuff with. Vitals monitor is done. Let's get a growth bat. Let's get growth bats done for this uh, baby, robot's baby, who's going to be born fairly soon. We're being, uh, oh no, we're being sieged and we haven't set back up any of this crap yet. We don't have any wood. We do have wood. We're just super behind on, uh... it looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. You can try to wait them out or go get them. This is the Sitterbit, the Sitterbit tribe. Oh, they're coming in on pods. Shit. It's all these, uh, it's all these barfy types. All right. Let's take it to them. Where are they? Oh yeah, I see they're trying to they're trying to get set up here. Do they actually have guns and stuff? Oh yeah, they do have a couple of guns. Let's hide behind these rocks. They're assaulting. Okay, we didn't let them set up their uh, their shit though. Ass blades in a little bit of trouble here. I think we're dead, honestly. <clears throat> I think this siege, coupled with the fact that. Uh, I should not have come out here without, uh, I don't have enough colonists. Uh, we're super dead. Well, it was a good run. It Was it, though? I, I honestly, I don't mind if we're dead. Fuck, I, I hate this. I hate everything about it. The base sucks. All of our colonists suck. Like, ah, oh, fuck, it's just the worst. We couldn't even get the trap set back up, like... Ass blade, look at four people kidnapped. Took too long with the base defenses set up. Honestly, for what we had, we had way too much wealth as well. We had, I mean, you have to balance it out a little bit. Stupid amounts of food that were probably worth more than, more in money than they were anything else. We had stupid amounts of material. We could have we could have made it so that those raids were way easier, right? Even like for them to set up mortars and stuff. Just Chaz and Robot, the married couple. Ah, it's a reset for sure. We're dead. There's no way we recover from this. Oh, actually, they are leaving. I guess. Chaz is just a mess. Like, there's no way. We lost our, our good doctor. Like, we just... Ah, fuck it. Let's get out of here. We're done. We're done. We're new run. Fuck me, man. Jesus Christ. I don't know how, like... Uh, like, uh, one of them had a gun. There was just so many of them. All of my guys are so bad at shooting as well. It was a good run to learn some things from. Yeah, it's been a while, right? Yeah, we had mortars, I know. I should have done it, but... We just didn't have enough people. We didn't have good enough gear to, to take a fight like that. 
Yeah, we wiped the colony and recovered a few times as well. You're right. That that one was just with Chaz in his in his in the state that he was in and the base just being such a fucking goddamn mess. I think I think it's time for a new one. Okay, crash landed. Sure. Um, strive to survive. Commitment mode. Cassandra classic. Sure, we, we try again, right? We're trying again. Uh, our seed is called red this time. I'm not ready for Randy. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for Randy. Okay, there's we got a couple of potential neighbors around here, which could be kind of good. This is a temperate swamp. This is a temperate forest with extreme pollution. This is a temperate swamp with no pollution. This is a temperate forest that's mountainous with an average temperature of 9.8 degrees Celsius. So it goes to minus seven degrees potentially. We could probably find a, a place that's a little bit warmer. It looks like this This is like a kind of... It never goes below zero in this region. If we want to be able to farm all year round. Which I don't know if we ne necessarily need to. Growth period all year. Um, growth period. 40 out of 60 days. 50 out of 60. Year round. Okay, so this is the year round growth period spot, right? A bit lower down. There's this this is this is this is good too. This is year oh no, qu not quite year round. Not quite year round. This is year round. So this is a temperate forest. This is a mountainous temperate forest mountainous with no pollution. We'd be close to a couple of, of bits and pieces. There's a huge um, temperate forest that's really polluted here. Maybe we don't want to be near a ton of pollution. This is impassable. Mountainous. Small hills year round. Animals can graze now. So it's going to be 15 to 30 degrees, an average temperature of 22.3 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Winter is not too hard to survive, though, honestly. A waster colony in pollution? Are there attack fleets? I don't know what that means. Small hills, sandstone, limestone, and marble. Okay. Um, let's do a create a custom fluid. Um, let's go with um, randomize. Hindu origin. This is a variant of the embodied theist structure. This ideology on is a descendant of ancient Hinduism. It may have very different precepts than those of thousands of years ago, but its symbols are similar. So a chance to have a precept of head wrap or broad wrap. Smoke leaf circle is an unlocked ritual, and the style is Hindu. Why is he in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. Be near a purple house so you can send caravans. You want it? We could select a random site. The pr so the purple house is... We are kind of near a purple house. What, you want to be, like, even closer? This is year-round small hills, same thing, and then we're really close to a purple house. So that we can do quick caravans if we need to. Close enough and they'll hate me. What, so we don't want to be too close. So like here? That's enough room, right? Five tiles. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, we're fine here then sure okay create custom there are no gods the moral structure of the universe is found in our grand narrative of social forces symbol burning animist 
Archist, Buddhist origin. This only affects symbols. It does not affect gameplay. Okay, let's just go random then. Sure. Embodied theist. Whatever. Done. Okay, what do we want to do here? Choose a meme. Collectivist? Each person is part of a greater whole. Work drive? Tripled. Visage mask? Relaxed. Symbol burning? Marriage name? Keep names. This one is uh, is honorable slavery and symbol burning. Individualist. Prosel pro proselytizer gives lots of points. It is our duty to spread our beliefs. We could go rancher. High life we've done a million times while well, we've done twice. Unlock roles plant specialist and styles animalist. Man is a stain on nature's perfection. Male supremacy. Female supremacy. Transhumanist. Human progress means merging with technology. Sleep accelerator preferred. Neural supercharge preferred. Biosculpting accelerated. Age reversal demanded. Eating nutrient paste. Don't mind. Body modification approved. So if we if we go transhumanist, we can just everybody can survive off nutrient paste. Transhumanist is all cyborgs. And give them all peg legs. They will be unhappy until you cyborg them. Oh, I see. Okay. Blood feeding is the vampire. What's this? This is low impact stuff. Loyalist? Symbol burning. We stand for our own before others. Our people carry guilt from ages past. Others are more worthy. <laughs> Required precepts. Pain. Idealized. <laughs> oh, man. Charity essential? Important or worthwhile? Unlockable craftables, the torture crown? Oh my god. And then supremacist? What's lo what? So what does loyalist actually mean? Or should we just go individualist? You want to try individualist or is it too hard? Human primacy is a good one. Oh my god. Mining. Prohibited. Horrible. Disapproved. Cutting trees. Prohibited. Horrible. Disapproved. Let's just try loyalist. Fuck it. Let's go with... Uh, Whoa. Patriotic path. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Our culture is astro astropolitan. A broad collection of cultures common among frequent space travelers. Oh, our ritual music is really weird. Okay. So we got Venus and Butim, the spirit of life and the goddess of life. Our precepts. Um, execution, horrible if innocent. Slavery is, ab is abhorrent. Female clothing, pants and shirt. Male clothing is just pants. Organ use, no harvest. Acceptable. Do we want to change some of this um, before we go in? Organ use. Where's organ use gone now that I've made it acceptable? Oh, it's right here. Physical love below spouse, so you have more kids. Change the fungus as well. Insect, insect meat despised, fungus despised. No, I want to keep the the despised actually, on fungus. Um, cannibalism of abhorrent male clothing, pants and shirt. Um. Men's spouses, one only. Women's spouses, one only. Sacrific sa sac scarification, sorry, horrible. Skull spike, disapprove. Organ use, acceptable. Research, normal. Oh, you can make it fast if you want. Eating nutrient paste, disgusting. 
marriage name usually man's diversity of thought neutral physical love spouse only what's spouse only mid and what's the difference between spouse only mid and strict free and approved horrible physical love horrible <laughs> Slavery should be accepted. Yeah, we want it, right? Acceptable. All right. The The rest of it we can just keep, I think. It's fine, right? We just want organ use and, and, uh, and slavery. Moral guide is a patriotic cleric. Leader is a divine governor. Rituals, the eulogy of, sp of spiritism. And the social festival is the celebration of spiritism. Spiritualism. Neil Pillow, Dutiful Mark, Long Corpus, Theo Remembrance, and the Royal Lance. That's a relic. Weapons, Venerated Animals, none. Preferred Xenotypes, none. Preferred Aperol, none. Tattoos. Punk and Misk, done. Nine in use. Hair and beard, sixty-three in use. So we don't have um, we don't have any uh, anything uh, specific for them to wear this time either, right? Change the ritual rewards. How do you change those? Recharge side focus. Nearby faction goodwill. Random recruit. Discover an ancient complex. A random recruit. The social festival is fun or unforgettable. 50% chance of random recruit of the same ideology in joining your colony. But is that is that just somewhere someone from like in the nether, or is it just like you have to have a prisoner that you've already converted, but you're, you're just having trouble recruiting. It's just random. That does seem a bit OP, actually, yeah. I'd rather struggle a little bit than just, like, uh, be able to spawn a million um, pawns in, you know? like It comes out of your behold. Okay, who are we bringing in here? A cook? A cook with social and intellectual. Traits beautiful. Greedy, abrasive, and a chemical fascination. Good medical and good cooking. Even better than the first one. Good cooking, good medical. Greedy. Needs a really impressive bedroom. Abrasive. Always says exactly what's on her mind, especially if it's bugging her. Chemical fascination is utterly fascinated with chemical sources of enjoyment. Consuming recreational drugs will create a good mood, while abstaining will lead to increasing frustration over time and possibly drug binges. Oh, chemical fascination is kind of annoying, right? Medieval minstrel, chemical fascination, careful shooter, great memory. Social, medical, artistic, and melee. We need somebody who can do some shooting, right? We got a, a shooter with uh, intellect animals and cooking here body modder but he's a psychopath has no empathy the suffering of others doesn't bother him at all he doesn't mind if others are butchered left unburied in prison or sold to slavery unless it affects him he also feels no mood boost from socializing <laughs> that's un that's unfortunate we got um a livestock farmer who's a wimp and too smart he's too smart for her own good she learns everything much faster than everyone but can be quite eccentric Incapable of caring or social, but good with animals, melee, and shooting. We got shooting here as well with construction. Could be good. Trigger happy, super immune, and teetotaler. Pew, pew, pew. Addie just likes pulling the trigger. She shoots faster than others, but less accurately. Is that a bad combo with shooting? Let's make my own race. Special abilities, hemogen, health, 
psychics movement mood temperature resistance and sensitivity i don't i'm, I'm i don't really want to make one honestly adult randomize <coughs> Furniture builder with construction, mining, cooking, and medical. Psychically deaf. Okay. And is incapable of violence. This is K the... I feel like having somebody incapable of violence from the get-go is not good, right? You need, you need people who are going to bring their violence game. K seems like a solid housekeep person. I suppose so. K Calhoun. You want K? I guess K can do like a pretty good range of jobs, right? Okay, let's keep K then. We don't want uh, we don't want anyone with a chemical fascination. So this is cooking, social, and intellectual. So we'll take Ali as well. His only trait is that he's beautiful. And then um, so that leaves us with needing. Um, so we got construction, cooking. It's a bit of mining. We got cooking again, backup cooking with social and intellectual, a burning passion. And then we need a, we need somebody who can do some shooting. We got Ramsey's a psychopath, but he's got some intellect as well. It's probably Matthews, realistically, right? Shooting and melee. So we got shooting, melee, construction, mining, cooking, plants, medical, intellectual. K, Ali, and Matthews. Ramsey's good, you think? I think Matthew's better though, no? Wimp is a tough one. Yeah, we got research. We got, well, we got, no, we don't have like insane research, but I guess we could get Ramsey in instead of Matthews. Body modder feels limited in his feeble human body. He often dreams of being enhanced with artificial body parts or xenogenetics. So he agrees with the meme transhumanist and conflicts with the meme flesh purity. Wimp plus two smart is a recipe for mental breaks. All right, I'll put I'll put Ma Ramsey in instead of Matthews then. Psychopath is not the best though, right? How bad is slothful? Loves idleness and hates anything productive. He moves slowly and rarely stays focused on attacks. His global work speed is minus 35%. Man, I don't know. Those are our two shooters. Well, actually, we got Addy here who can do construction and shooting. Seven shooting. Trigger happy, super immune, and teetotaler. Maybe this is, maybe this is better. She's got a frail torso. Moving minus 30 and manipulation minus 30. Oh, because she's 67 years old. Fuck. So we can't take her. So it's probably Matthews, but too smart and wimp is a recipe for disaster, apparently. Kay can't do any shooting. Ali is fucking hopeless at shooting and melee as well. You'd pick Ramsey. But the sloth thing is super off-putting as well, right? No, no, I don't want to re-roll because it's just like... Like, I feel like if you're min-maxing your starting colonists, it just takes a whole interesting layer out of the game, right? Sometimes you have to just put up with some of the, some of the shit and then, you know, make them better. Want a frail old woman being your defense against raiders and wild animals? No, I don't. 
I want a psychopath being my main defense <laughs> against raiders and animals. I also, well, I mean, we can get um, we can get K to hopefully um, make us a murder tunnel as well, right? Okay, K, Ali, and Ramsey is is our crew, right? It's fine. We don't have anybody who can really do planting and stuff, but man, we had so much food last time. If we have a good shooter as well, we can just eat a lot of meat, right? It's fine. Yeah, we got to get the early murder tunnel for sure. All right, Ramsey. Wear this. Wear these. Take the bolt action rifle. After you've done a little puke. Okay, nice. Alright, let's get some stuff um, built here, right? What is this? A limestone column? And a limestone column? It's got f five beauty and five beauty. Okay, we're going to set up here. Work. Patient. K is going to be our doctor. Bed rest, child care, basic. Ali is going to be our warden as a top priority. Um, we got cooks and backup cooks. Six, six, and eight. Everybody can cook. Really nice. Okay, handling, hunting. Hunting can be top priority because it's something that we have to queue up anyway. And then let's put him on researching. Crafting, three, two, and zero. Tailoring, three. Smithing, three. Okay, that's fine for him. Uh, K could do construction. Doesn't have to really do growing or anything like that. Mining, it's fine. Art, sure. Put this like on like that. Mining will be queued up, so we want that to be a top priority when it happens. Construction and then growing and plant cutting. That should be fine. Ramsey doesn't really have... A lot to do until we get a research table set up and some crafting online. Ali um, can do the bulk of the cooking. He's got a good passion for it as well. And then he can do hauling, cleaning, hauling, cleaning, and hauling, cleaning. Okay. Sure. Do, 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 do. Can Ramsey do construction? Construction. Ramsey can do a little bit, yeah. He's already botched up the construction, but he doesn't have like a passion for it, but he's able to do a little bit if we need we need an extra hand, you know. We started with a work? Oh yeah, it looks like we did. It's pretty nice. Okay, zone, dumping stockpile. All right, let's haul this stuff out of here. Let's make a wooden door at the back here too. We're just going to get ourselves set up temporarily here until we actually start building stuff, right? We can just store all of our crap in here too.
do 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 Okay, good job, Kay. You're doing great, Dad. We don't have uh we have a bit of fertile ground. Or are we on top of fertile ground right now? Is this whole patch fertile on that I'm on top of? The bottom left? Oh yeah, look at that. There's a big patch of it here, you're right. Pretty nice. Do 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 furniture? Let's make just make a couple of beds. Oh, we got some wood down there, too. Whoops. Very cozy. There's random shit scattered around the map. Yeah, I know. I, I think I've got some of it. Not all of it. We'll find it eventually. We do need to go pick up some of the steel, though, right? components all of our packaged travel meals <clears throat> yeah the other colony we died to a uh, a pigman raid it was kind of dumb the way we died honestly but the whole colony was really annoying to run at that point as well so we're gonna try to do better this time we're gonna try to do a, a whole heap better if we can it wasn't even Pigman? Oh no, it wasn't. It was uh it was barfs. It was space ball barfs. That's right. Recreation. Let's just do a horseshoe pin. Can you do a, can you do a horseshoe pin inside? An indoor horseshoes? A warg sleep spot? Everybody's asleep. I didn't name a person after you. That's why I failed. Oh, I see. Um, production. Hey, Sips. Hope you're doing good. My hey, girlfriend Abigail turns 21 next week. She's been a huge fan for as long as I can remember. A birthday shout out from you would mean the world to her. Hey, Tyler. Thanks so much for the 10. Abigail, happy birthday. I hope that you have a good birthday. Thank you so much. Um, you can you can use that. You can just clip that whole thing and send it. Like I even I even left an awkward long pause in between saying the next thing, right? So it's perfect. Abigail only picked up one egg. True. Bills. Add a bill. Make any stone blocks. No. What do we want to make? What do we have in abundance? We got a bunch of slate. We got a bunch of sandstone. I guess we're going sandstone again. Do until we have 50. Okay. Should give somebody something to do. Maybe not. They're doing they're doing all the hauling and stuff. Oh yeah, no, Ramsey's doing it. Okay, perfect. All right, so here we want to just details, drop it on the floor. Okay, if we start making some blocks, then we can start making uh, a structure not out of wood, which would be nice. Um, where do we want to start making our base? We got some natural defense on the side here. We got a little choke here. We could make it in this whole area, like where we are. Just sort of start 
by making like a bit of a hole. You need to claim the existing walls. These. Can I do this in orders? Claim. They just fix the walls now. The fertile spot is tempting. What, like, so make the base more like in here? Oh, some packaged meals there. And then we can grow all the stuff that we need here or maybe make a courtyard around. What happens if, um, if you, if you make your base right on the edge of the map, like down in the corner, but like the wall is connected here, what happens if you get raided? You can never get raided by that corner of the map. It just closes it off. Oh, you can't build too close to the edge. Oh, right. So they, so they can still raid you from anywhere, but they might just be right outside your walls sort of thing. There's a four tile zone. Right, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Structure. Sandstone wall. Okay, how big do we want our main hall to be and also do we want to have it so that we have like a, a three wide corridor that passes through so that we can nicely branch off into different areas of the base as well and then we can make like the middle of the base basically like uh we can give like make like a nice atrium sort of thing and then they can just go off to the different parts of the base they need to go to A five wide main hall. Make sure that the wall is made of slate. Why why as opposed to um, sandstone? It's more durable. Alright, so the outer walls we make out of slate, but granite is the strongest. Slate is just stronger than sandstone. Sandstone's the lowest hit points, but it builds the fastest. Sandstone is racist. Okay. So if we're going to do this thing in the middle, we want some path, right? So let's say, let's mark this as like the, the middle of my base, okay? So we're gonna say, like this, like that, like that, and like this, but then we can actually put the, the rest of it around here like that. And then we could just put like a cool statue in the middle or something, I don't know. <clears throat> Click the I button on a wall and check per material. Oh, I'm too lazy to do that though. Okay, so this will come like here. How big do we want this place to be? Maybe like not that big. Oh man, this is going to be so good, by the way. Structure, sandstone wall. So we can we can connect it with like hallways, which which then lead off into like bigger rooms and stuff, right? Um, so for example, we could go like here and here. Now we're rimming. Oh, yeah. 
The last base did get raided by Wookiees. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Ramsey. Ramsey, I'm sick of your botched constructions, okay? I'm already so over all of these botched constructions. Just leave it now, okay? Let the pro do all of the uh, all of the other stuff, and then you can cut stone. That's how you can help. What a buster. I'm a botched construction. You take that back. You take that back, young man. Let him rim. He has to learn how to rim. It's true, he does. Okay. It's not just Ramsey with the botched constructions. It's also K. What is the warg's name? Setsuko. I did not pick that name, by the way. Not, not a name chosen by me. They're just learning. It's true. Yes, we need to. Uh, we need to prioritize um, where we're gonna put like our kitchen and stuff first, right? We're gonna need to have a nice little kitchen with a nice freezer to store some nice meals in, and maybe do some butchering stuff. Use the plan tool under the orders menu to plan ahead. Where's that? Where's the plan tool? Under the orders menu? Orders? Plan. Oh, nice. Okay, so if this is just going to be walkway, then we could potentially make it so that we have a room, say, this big. So this is a... Oh, no, it's 5 by 3. 5. 5 by 3 is probably okay, right? So this would be the kitchen... They'd work here, and then we'd have a freezer in here, for example. But how big would this freezer be? It doesn't need to be that big, honestly. Like, we'll share the freezer between butchering and the kitchen, potentially. Or do we want to just have a separate... No, no, we don't want to have a separate freezer for ingredients, right? Make the murder hallway a priority if you want to live. Oh, yeah, I do need to do that as well. You're right. Where are we going to make a murder hallway to begin with? We're going to have to slowly... Oh, these choke points are too much, right? You want a separate room for butchering so you don't contaminate your meals? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm going to probably just do it in the freezer. Other side of the freezer. Do, do, do. Okay, and then down here we can have a research room. Would be nice. A little research room. So, freezer goes in here. It's not a big enough freezer, though. It would have to be a little bit wider. So, it'd be five two three four five and then six so go like to here i think that's fine what else do we need research a kitchen a place to butcher animals storage is not really needed straight away we need a hospital we could put that next to the research room. Actually, the hospital needs to be a little bit bigger, so we can make it this size again, right? And then we can have a an entrance into it from here. This freezer needs to be accessible from here as well. What if they use it as a shortcut to like go through to the kitchen though? I, I don't think we want it accessible there, right? We want it like that. A hospital and a prison. 
Yeah, it'll, it, it will mess with the cooling, you're right. Okay, I think this is fine for now. So then we'd want to have some wall to here, some wall to here. Where are we going to make our murder corridor? Maybe we make it not here because there's geothermal here. Maybe we use like what's here already as like a little choke so that we can like, it's too wide. So they could come, we could mine this out and then they could come through here as part of it and just snake around here as well. So then we'd want to close off from like here. We're going to need a lot of walls for this. And then we can just close it off from here too. To start with, and then we'll move out from here. Sound good? You like my ambition? Good. Glad to hear it. All right. So structure, sandstone walls. We got a lot of construction tasks to uh, to finish here. All right, no problem. We got enough packaged meals to see us through for a bit. We'll get the freezer and the kitchen and stuff set up pretty soon. We'll get these walls completed. We're gonna wanna mine this out. Mind this out too. Cancel that. She's gone all the way around. What a dummy. Okay, Ramsey, keep working on those blocks. Really nice. Allie is cutting down all the trees that are in the way. Really nice too. Use the order. No, no, I like to press on the buttons individually. It's a bit of slate here. I can haul this. Let's haul this stuff too. These chunks. Okay, architect zone. Remove roof area. For now, we want this all to be outside, right? Remove roof area. Yeah. And then on this side as well. I oh, know it's never really going to close off though, right? So it should be okay. We got a visitor. Black Locust from the Red Pond Pact is visiting. Very nice. Okay, structure, sandstone door, so that we can get out the south if we need to. All right, we're starting. It's a start. It's a it's a little start, right? Architect, security, spike traps. And um, let's get some structure fence. We'll make this wind um, 
like snake around a bit too right but just just for now just just in case if we get the walls done and then we're like you know we're hunted by a mad boomalope or something like that well you know we can just like lead them through there that's a natural pinch point yeah right through some mountains which we might need to change depending if we start mining some of this out is there a way to can you mine out a mountain and get rid of overhead mountain like can you force the the ceiling to collapse to then stop infestations like is it is it possible no only with a mod right okay okay thank you thank you for letting me know okay we're wasting a lot of time on unnecessary construction here it's okay though let's get our man to haul some of this sandstone over here for ramsey ramsey's a real busy boy he's got a lot of blocks to make for k who's just gonna be holy shit going crazy on the construction skill right All right, there's a dead turkey in our stockpile. The warg ate a turkey. We've got a mad hare coming. All right, Ramsey. This is this is all you, baby. With your good shooting. That's pretty bad shooting. Oh my god. Okay. I'll lead the back. I'll lead the bunny back. Who's our doctor? It's K. Okay, so K needs to health overview self tend. Ramsey. Nice. A sign. Okay, perfect. I think she's going to be fine. She's just got bitten on her arm and her leg a little bit. New run, it's all over. It's a, uh, it's a, we're doing a no, colonists cannot take any damage run. The minute they take, like, a little bit of damage, it's game over. We're probably going to, um, forage, uh, berries and stuff, too, right? move this stuff. Ramsey is cutting down trees. Very nice. Okay, good. Need defenses. Need a meal source. We need to make these people happy. You have to cut off where they get bitten. It's a virus. <laughs> oh, no. Dude. This is a restart, yeah. The last colony was grew into such a mess. Chaz was so annoying to deal with as well. It's not possible to make them happy when they're eating without a table. I know. The, the key to this game is to have a table for them to eat at. Otherwise, you're screwed. You're so right. You're so right. A 3x3 three three table? What about a 1x2 table? like this right but then we make like three stools so it's like uh, Goldilocks and the three bears except 
They're not bears. And none of them are named Goldilocks either. You know? Eating without a table is a war crime? That's true, yeah. Good start. Nobody has severe ba brain damage just yet? Exactly. We can pump up the speed now, too. Now that everybody's got their, their orders, let's get some more storage built. Construction level 8. Nice big skill up. Look at K go. Holy crap. She's insane. This is great. They're playing horseshoe indoors. Oh, well, that's good. At least they'll be uh, like, they'll be a little bit happy now, right? How, have I, how long have I been rimming this particular world? Not not long. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Ramsey thinks that you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Uh, pa true, true patriots. We have like a like a patriotic sort of loyalist theme going, right? Thanks for helping you figure out what day of the week it is on Twitter. Hey, no problem. True Patriots. What do you, what should we call our, our colony? What do you think this settlement should be called? Florida. <laughs> okay. Nice. I love the theme that we've gone for. Really good. <laughs> Very topical. Oh, gosh. Really good. A group of ducks have joined? Wait, did all of these... Holy shit. That is too many ducks. Alright, I am not acting on that whatsoever. If the warg wants to eat them, he can. There's no way I'm taking all these ducks in. I can wrangle them in once uh, once the walls are done, actually. Actually, if we just did this, look at the... We could do this really easily. Um, let's go... We need some wood. We need a pen. A pen 15. You will wrangle to a caravan spot if you don't want to build a pen. I don't want to wrangle ducks to a caravan spot. I, I can put them all in a pen. It's fine. I got a big natural pen here for them. If that's what they desire. And then I guess we could just eat their eggs. The, um, those, uh, remind me never to, to take on 15, um, barfs from Spaceballs with, uh, with three colonists. It did not go very well at all. I don't think we killed a single, single one of them. Kill all the ducks. They aren't very patriotic. Don't worry. I'm going to be killing all these ducks. You mark my words. Okay, hey, look, the walls are coming along really nice here. Like, we've made some great progress. Let's get all this stuff hauled. Let's get all these other rocks hauled as well. Ali can start doing it. He's a beautiful man. I went right to the pod, I know. It was a really dumb move. I didn't want them to, um, 
This is bad. She's probably dead. A brutal lynx attack? Could maybe kite him through these traps? Nice shot. Incredible shot. This guy's got a high skill of shooting, by the way. Where did it go? It'll be dead in 18 hours. Oh my god. We're being raided already? By one man named Lance? Holy crap. Um, yeah, equip this revolver, Ali. You can't be any worse than... Holy shit, the Lynx is back, by the way. It's a hungry lynx. Now it's killing a raccoon. Nice. Um, okay, she's in no immediate danger. She'll have to um, go rest, though. Um... This guy is is coming up here. He's down. Okay. He's a teenage drifter. He's a genie. Intellectual with crafting, artistic, bit of melee. Holy crap. We shot him up good. I don't I just don't know um how we can imprison this guy though. I'm I'm not equipped to uh to in imprison him. Those traits are awful? Which trait I didn't even look at them actually. Chemical interest, wimp and delicate. That's part of being a genie. The chemical interest is not great. It means that recreationally he'll uh he'll consume all the drugs tend him without medicine first he dropped some doobies okay you can do it I believe okay the lynx has been destroyed as well Quality zero? Quality zero? <laughs> We're patching him up. Nice. He's got a little bit longer to live. He might get a big infection. Who knows? Okay. He's fine. Um, do we have somewhere where we could possibly um, imprison this guy? quickly like maybe just in here if I turn this into a prison room though um, these guys won't be able to sleep right like in the corner just make a tiny prison. It won't work. We just need a bed size room. Uh, 
I don't think I've got enough uh, wood. And then we could just do furniture sleeping spot. For prisoners. Okay, Kay, you need to work on this before you do anything so that we can get this guy. A feral child had, has wandered in? A child living among wild animals has wandered into the area. She's called Beaver. You can attempt to, cha to tame her. <laughs> oh, no. We know how this one goes. There's a lynx seeking revenge. Oh, our warg is uh, attacking it. That's fine. Um, let's harvest this oak tree next. Kay's going to have to get some rest in a minute, but we just want to get this guy imprisoned, right? Tame the child? We will, we will. Don't worry. We've got a minor break risk. All right, Ramsey, you're up. Capturing Lance the Peddler. Okay, prisoner. He's got some, uh, he's got some um, resistance. Let's convert him first. Before I go to bed, can you please name the warg Seabass? Is the warg gonna die? Oh no, he killed the lynx. It's a shame, we got all this, uh, we got all these animals out here that we're not, oh my god, giving this guy a packaged meal seems not the best, right? Alright, K is out of action for a little bit. 71 to 55? Shit. We're gonna get this guy in no time. She can tend to Lance through the crack in the, uh... In the wall. That's amazing. It's a bit like... It's a, it's a bit cheaty. Because nobody would be able to fight her there, right? We need to plant some rice. Hey, we might need to actually. Let's just plant a little bit here. We should be able to do some decent hunting with Ramsey, right? He's got good shooting skills. We gotta finish the uh, we got we we gotta finish the perimeter first though. It's a top priority. And then starting to cook food and stuff is gonna be the next one, right? Cook some meals, butcher some animals, get a couple of windmills and stuff. Harvest a couple of berries. It's all right. It's coming together. Don't worry. It's a, It's always a bit rough at first, right? Rimworld. It's just the way she goes. Sometimes she goes. Sometimes she doesn't. Don't forget about the kid. I'm not too worried about the kid. We, we can try to tame the kid, I guess. Schedule, work, wildlife. Does the kid... Oh, yeah. Beaver child. We got a 10% chance of the beaver child going going crazy. Who's actually assigned to taming? Handling? Ramsey? He's got an, a, a nine skill in it. He'll get around to it eventually, I suppose. 
There's a war merchant from the Red Pond Pack. We've also got fucking tons of duck eggs already. These things are just laying eggs like crazy over here. I should probably go wrangle them all up and let them roam around in here, right? Structure, steel fence. No, we need some wood. Got some visitors as well. Okay, Ali's going in for his his next conversion attempt. It's pretty good. Let's trade with these guys. They got tons of... No, we've got package survival meal. They've got tons of pemmican. We could buy 272 bucks worth of pemmican to keep us going for a bit. That might be worth it. 272. Um, and maybe like a bit of her herbal medicine. Here, let's sell this and this. Plasteel knife will keep. Synthread pants normal, 99%. We can sell those for 112 bucks. Who needs them, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Who needs these stupid pants, right? Doesn't matter. We can sell the warg. They won't buy any of the ducks. They got a lynx and they got um they got some of their own wargs for sale. Plasteel knife. We could sell it. Do we want any of this other stuff? Not probably not, right? Okay, let's do that. There. Everybody can get annoyed by eating pemmican, but at least it it'll uh it'll make us last a little longer, right? Duck 5 has started to roam, roam away. I'm not too concerned about the ducks, honestly. I don't give a shit. There's an ancient danger nearby. It's in here. <laughs> it's quite close to the base. Who needs free meat? Man, the map is full of meat. I'm, we're never going to get to the point where we're like, Oh, shit. I miss those ducks. There's a transport pod crash with a man named Chase who's good with plants, animals, and social. Bit of melee. He's got a bloodlust trait. He gets a rush from hurting people and never minds the sight of blood or death. He's four times as likely to start a social fight as others. Ooh. Jeez. Okay. Let's rescue him. Ali's working on Lance again. Oh shit, we're close. We've almost converted his ass. It's almost happened. Structure, sandstone wall, all the way over. Did anyone tend him? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, this guy's frail as well. We can nurse him back to health, but we don't want to recruit him, right? This guy's a liability. He's never going to fit in with our patriotic ways. He's 77 years old. I can't believe he survived the pod crash. He might join. <laughs> Name him Chris Loveass. <laughs> That's not funny. You take that back. You take that back. Ah, oh, fuck me. He joined. He actually joined. Why did he join? Why did this man join? He's got a bit of social, though. He's got a decent amount of social. He can't do shit. Is it because he's so frail? We can get him on plant cutting and growing, actually. With, like, um... No, nah, don't do handling or hunting. You're fine. 
What's his problem? He's just frail. Frail and he's hurt. Just make all of his limbs prosthetic. Can you give him a prosthetic torso? Oh, they gave us four components from the Red Pond Pack. It's nice. That's nice of them. Replace all of his body parts with wood. Okay, Lance the Peddler is no longer incapable of walking. So a Florida resident just wandered in? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I guess we need to build him a bed. We don't have any wood. At least we can get some... The Solitary Praetor. Augustina Glabas. A Praetor of the Fallen Empire is calling from nearby. Her guards were killed in an ambush. She escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting cat. Glabas wants you to keep her safe at Florida for a few hours until her shuttle can come pick her up. She will bestow eight honor on whoever accepts this quest. This is enough honor to receive the royal title of Yeoman and all benefits that come with it, including the first level of psychic powers. Yeah. <laughs> Who is our uh, intellectual person? It's Ramsey, right? You think we can make Ramsey give Ramsey some honor? You want it? Quests. Except for Ramsey? He's incapable of. Oh no, he's. Oh no, he's intellectual, right? Is it this guy who's our social? Oh, it's it's Ali. And he's beautiful. That's his only trait, is he's beautiful. This could work. Okay. Glabas is joining. Glabas is running away from a cat. A man hunting cat. It is just a little cat. <laughs> Where is this cat going to go? It's going to go up around here. Okay, we got to be ready here. She's going to chip in. Oh, Glabass will chick in. Will chick will will chip in. Bed rest, basic, handle, hunting, researching, won't do any hauling or cleaning. Okay, let's just let her do what she's going to do, right? Ramsey? Can you protect these people? And Ali, could you also protect these people from this cat that's coming to get us right now? I don't see the cat. The cat might come through the traps here. The shuttle has arrived already. Just get in. <laughs> okay, good. Quest completed. We can do a, a yeoman ceremony. Very nice for Ali. Okay, here comes the cat. Got him! Hey, they're almost done this. Really good. Ali is throwing a party. Very nice. We get a new silent level and a yeoman title. Okay. Here they come. Hey, welcome to the party, pals. We're, we've already started without you. Okay, good. They've done it. Has Lance been uh, converted? Okay, he's almost, he needs one more little chit chat. Click to start the ritual? Click who? Okay. We're beginning the ritual. Not 
No, we're not. Are we? Has it happened? Is it because they're having a party first? Do do a ritual while you have the people. I think it bugged out. Not till the party's over. All right, so the party is still is still on. I think it's bugged out. Okay. Ali tried to convert Lance to his own ideology. And Lance was convinced and changed his... Okay, look. Lance is, has accepted the patriotic path. All right. Now we can start reducing his resistance. Actually, we could just recruit him, right? Because it'll just... It'll reduce his resistance until we recruit him. Yeah, it really did bug out, you're right. Okay, look, the uh, the whole thing is closed off here now. Really nice. Okay, let's get rid of all this. And then let's start Operation Make a Kitchen and Freezer. Get some power going. And then we can start making some nice places for these people to sleep and stuff too, right? Get, we'll get a nice supply of meals. Get some hunting going. Get Chase an actual bed. Chase can sleep here behind the pillar. Oh look, we got some ambrosia bushes right inside our base. Chase could always sleep on the floor. Try again? No, it's not available. The uh, the the question mark isn't there now. It's busted. Maybe if I save and quit and then go back in, it'll like jog it, you know. True patriots. The ducks did not get slaughtered, no, but most of them wandered away. We didn't really do much with them, you know. Try to tame, like, a, a muffalo. No, it's still bugged. Maybe it works, maybe it works in our uh, favor, the fact that these guys are stuck here. They'll eventually run out of food and all starve to death. And then we can take all their gear. And in the meantime, every time we get raided, we have basically a security force on hand. Is it because we don't have a ritual spot? Getting fair of the flesh. It's a Sky Lantern festival. We can begin the celebration of spiritualism. I'll just leave it there. I'll put it back in a sec. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, just just leave it there. Thank you. Oh my god, we got beaver as well. It worked. Holy crap. We got a we got a, a child. A feral child. I think we need to build a, a, a kid's bed. Or no, you don't. Just a normal bed will do it. She can sleep next to Chase. No, the old man didn't tame her. It was Ramsey. We're going to try to reduce Lance's... Okay, 11.2 resistance. Low mood. Not Six. the best. My wife and I just learned we get to adopt our foster daughter. Can you name a colonist or animal jelly bean for her and one chickadee for my bio kid so I can show them all their in world war crimes when they're older? Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> What? Hang on a second. Um, okay, let me put this here. The Shindig, thanks so much for 1337. You get to adopt your foster daughter. Can you name a colonist or animal jelly bean for her and one chickadee for my bio kid so I can show them all their RimWorld war crimes when they're older? Yes. I'll try to remember. 
Jelly bean and chickadee. Okay, look it. I don't like the fact that we have a kid named Beaver, so you can have this one at least, right? J jelly bean, there you go, okay. What's the other one? Chickadee? I'll try to remember. Cancel the ritual. How do you cancel it? Oh, cancel it. Quest failed. Accept. There's <laughs> more! They're back! Oh, that's good. Okay. Begin. It's broken again. No, it's not. His bestowing ceremony has begun. Okay, Ali has received a yeoman title. And uh, it, it came at a 32% quality. Sure. Nice. Okay, this is great. Really good. Structure, sandstone wall. Yes. Wonderful. Really nice. And then we're going to start doing some research down here too, right? And then this is going to be a hospital. Just close that off for now. Make the research room bigger for the big bench later. It's okay. It's it's just gonna be a, a small room, and then we'll we'll repurpose it to something else. We'll just put a crafting room or something in here. We'll make a bigger lab. We'll we'll put the uh, like we'll we'll make a big lab with like all the the xenogenetic stuff and everything. We just don't need to make it now. So. Production. Misc. Furniture. Where is the uh where is the oh simple research bench? Here it is. You should make it out of steel? No, probably not, right? We got a patriotic cleric role unfulfilled. Um we can make we can make uh, that Ali can have that right. We can give him the leader, divine uh, governor, because I think we have who else has is who else has some uh, social. <coughs> Not Ramsey, K Jelly Bean. Oh Chase. Okay, look. Let's do this. Let's give him the divine governor leader role. Okay, Ali is going to be the leader of our religion. And then Chase is going to be the uh, the other one, right? Successful role change. Nice. Okay, Chase. You can be the... Oh, this guy hasn't been converted yet. That's why. Oh, shit. We need to change this guy to this, right? Whoops. So that we can convert Chase. Good luck converting a 77-year-old man's religion. Hey, you watch. It's going to happen. And it's going to be glorious. Ninety-nine to sixty-nine. Nice. He's working on Lance again. 10.2. He's dropping fast. 
do 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 Horsepower production furniture? It's not, it's misc, right? Pen marker? Who's starving? K is. Oh, we don't have any meals. To harvest some berries. We ran out of pemmican as well. Okay, K is eating some... Oh my god, man. Can you harvest things better than that? That's unreal. They're true Florida men foraging berries. Production. A butchering... Oh, I need some wood. Put this here, like this, this, and that. Oh, we need to um, we need to close this off too, right? For now, we'll open it up after. We might starve. We need to forge more berries, I believe. We gotta do our best. There's an ancient engine block here. Some more meds and stuff down here when we need them. Okay, miss pen marker. A warg is wounded? Is it? It's in no immediate danger. Oh, a tortoise uh, bit his neck. Oh, he's, it's all right. He's been tended. He's feeling better already. It was Terry. <laughs> Terry's lashing out. Look at uh, Terry's. Uh, Terry's there already. Setsuko has fully healed. Okay, so bills, add a bill, butcher creature, do it forever. Zone, stockpile. So in this stockpile, we're going to allow fresh only, clear all. Fresh. Um animal corpses nice and that's going to be on important priority Ramsey's eating raw meat that's disgusting okay we got some berries in as well we're almost there now we're almost there so close These guys are just going to get more and more pissed because of the way that they're having to live, right? It's not the best. There's all these, like, dead animals down here and stuff. We fed Lance, who is now at 9.7. Ducks are eating the berries. All these ducks are eating my berries? I hate that. All these damn ducks. Animals? Ducks. Who's our handler? K 
Kay Ramsey. No, sorry, it's just Ramsey. Yeah, rope all these stupid ducks up. Let's get them in here. Look. Nutrition growth, 4.62. That's great. Let's get all these ducks in here. Um, wargs. Zone. Spend a loud area for wargs. How do you do the, um, like, the inverse thing? And then... Because I want him to be able to go everywhere except for in this pen. Back to the rename menu that I was just in. All right. Oh, I... So I invert it. And then I go to um, architect zone, clear allowed area for wargs. And then I just clear this pen. Like that. <laughs> so they don't poop on the bed. I don't mind them going inside. It's fine. All right, we need to harvest up some more berries. <clears throat> Lance is having a crisis of belief. His spirit is broken. As a result, he was forced to question everything. His belief in patriotic path has been reduced to 3.4%. The final straw was confined interior. It's all right, Lance. We're going to have you converted in, in like two seconds. And it's not going to be an issue anymore. We might have to eat some raw meat. It, it might have to happen. Okay, let's kill one of these things. He just doesn't believe in... <laughs> he doesn't believe that America can be made great again. <laughs> We're going to show you, Lance. We're going to show you just how great it could be. Make a campfire? No, no, we're going to make a kitchen. Don't worry. We're going to make a, a fueled stove. We're going to start. We're going to start making some meals. Don't worry. Ramsey, I believe. We're being raided again. There's a guy here named Gomp. Gomp is on his way. We're gonna lure. We're gonna force Gomp through the. Um, oh, he might actually just attack these guys, which uh, is fine by me. Yeah, he did. Nice. Okay, let's trade with this guy. See what he's got. He has three package survival meals, which we'll take. He's got no components. He's got a bit of mess medicine. Sure. Thank you so much. It's time to eat, everybody. Jelly Bean took one. And we gave one to Lance! Oh my god, the priorities of these people is insane. There's no way.
Ramsey, what are you doing, man? Did he manage to kill that deer? I don't think he did, you know? Oh, we got a gift. Five components. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright. So, we want bills. Add a bill. We want to cook a simple meal. Cook a simple meal times four. Do it until we have ten meals. Sure. Details. Drop it on the floor. All right. We're hungry, but... Oh, my fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh! Please! A squirrel self-tamed? you got to be kidding me. It's going to be really crispy. Okay, I'm slaughtering squirrel... Squirrel 1. I hate squirrel 1. Come on, somebody do the somebody do the deed. Everyone wants to join this colony. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, right? We're getting so many um so many applicants. It's just nuts. Okay, we got to kill another another doe. We're eating raw meat as it is as it stands now, but we should be able to make some meals and kill a couple more. Tame a tortoise? No, there's no time for that. Jellybean woke up in the middle of the night to eat raw meat. Gross. That's gross. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> where did it go? Where did that plant go? <laughs> Okay, Setsuko has the plague. Not great. Let's see if K can uh, rescue him. He's got minor plague. His immunity is not far behind. If we get a good tend on him, it's probably 93% with the good medicine. All right. He's going to survive, no problem. That's great. Huge. All right. Don't worry too much about the fire outside the walls. It can't get through the walls. Zone. Clear the home area. It's fine. Just leave it. Chase. Chase, what are you... What are you doing? Chase, don't you even think about it, you son of a bitch. You can't convert Mr. Religion 2000 here. There's no way. You just can't do it. Okay, our butchering spot is ready to go too. Let's get some floors in here. Let's get a torch lamp in here, too. Why would I pay 2,500 channel points to smell my own finger when I can do it for free? 
I don't know. Good question. Who do I have assigned to cook? Um, I've got uh, Ali assigned to cook as a priority, but we don't have any ingredients for him to cook with at the moment. Once we get some, though. We got a, a pod sprout? Job Ramsey? Good thing you got the Berlin Wall before everyone starved to death at least? Yes. Don't worry, nobody's starving to death. We'll be fine. Security with the spike trap? I don't know why there isn't one here. Honestly, you guys, you guys are such naysayers sometimes. <laughs> Look, we, we got so many options out here. Look at all these berries, for example. The rice is almost grown. It's 90% grown. We'll have a big harvest. We're, we're already harvesting some. Look. Chase is harvesting a bunch of rice already. Look, nobody's starving. We're going to be able to make some meals soon. Misc? No. Production. Let's get a torch lamp in here. Look at this, Ali's making his first meals. Incredible, he's done it. He's only gone and done it. Furniture, a wooden shelf. Good job, Ali. Well done. We're getting there. Floors. Let's get some sandstone tiles in here too. And in here. And in here. So many jobs to do. Hosting a friend. Ambexada Lyrebird. Sacred Chief of the Red Pond Pact is requesting a favor. Her friend, Green Mandrill, is interested in learning about other cultures, and she wants you to host her at Florida for 23 days. 23 days is a long time. Green Mandrill will probably help us do work and stuff, though, right? She might be good. Can't see. What uh, what do we want from this? 47 Hyperweave? A Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Am I going to get all I want for Christmas is Minecraft by the time I die? You might if you're lucky, yeah. 23 days is a long time. I don't need any wealth right now. Should I just go for some goodwill? I'm currently neutral with the Red Pond Pack. I think skip it. Yeah, I think we could probably skip it, honestly. Hyperweave is always good. We don't need it for like a long ass time. Right? Oh my 
god. <laughs> okay, well, everybody is asleep. <laughs> uh, barf is... We're being raided by Barf. Let the Warg deal with it. I don't think we need to let the Warg deal with it. Honestly, I don't think anybody needs to deal with this. This guy's dead. Hello? What happened? Why is he doing this? What happened to him? Check the message to see if he was a breacher? There's no way this guy is a breacher, right? There's no freaking way. No. It just, just attacked immediately. Why is there a hole in the wall? So he couldn't he couldn't figure out how to path through here, but there's nothing in the way, right? It's fine. I don't I don't get it. Auto repair is disabled. Yeah, I know, but what would have uh, destroyed that wall in the first place? I don't understand. No, no, he shouldn't have even attacked the wall, though. Not, nothing should be able to take these walls down. Oh, you just attacked the wall randomly for you? Oh yeah, we need a research project. It's gonna be batteries. Okay, so here we want to allow meals. And we're gonna put this on a important priority. Okay, he died. We did not want to do anything with him. We didn't want him to be, you know, we didn't need him. Um, power? I guess we want a wood fire generator to start with, but a wind turbine could be good too. We could set him up out here in this, uh, in this pen, which means that the living area will be where the uh, rice farm is currently, I think. That's where we're going to put that. So we'll put some uh, wind turbines out here. Keep this area clear. Let the animals roam around here. 
pick up the ambrosia? We need some we need some power. We need power. Okay. We need some power conduits. Nice. Passive cooler might be a good idea. Why? Because it's 31 degrees in the kitchen. No, that's fine. Once we're gonna get the we're gonna get the cooler going like straight away. Keep this, keep this biatch on ice. We'll keep it. We'll put it like kind of in the middle too. We can do a little chimney. Structure. We'll do a chimney. We'll do a chimney, even though it's in the living quarters. It's fine. We'll work around it. I we'll have a little place to put some like. Uh, like a little decorations in the hallway or something. It's fine. Some interesting architecture. Thanks. Okay. Here we want to say zone. Uh, remove roof area. Here. The rest of this can be roofed. Man, K is the best, eh? Look at this. Look at her go. Just the we're just one of the one of the best we got right now. Incredible. Storage. Clear all. We don't want any rotten. We want raw food. Meat. And here we want clear all, no rotten, uh, raw food, vegetarian. Perfect. All right. Just got to hook this up. Okay, now we're recruiting Lance. Lance is being recruited. Okay, there's a male psychic soothe happening. The shelves are so good now, yeah, I know. They really are, aren't they? Gold mining work site nearby controlled by Bupogwi? Bupogwi. Bupogwi. I love Bupogwi. Chase, how many meals do you need to eat per day? Should only be one. We need some some wind to hit this turbine. Oh, it's blocked by uh, poplar trees and stuff. We need to uh, we need to cut down all these trees, right? Okay, and then we want this to be. Minus 10. Use auto cut on the turbine. Oh, good idea. We got a couple of visitors here. Okay. Lance is, um, Lance has joined us. Holy shit.
Okay, good job, Lance. You're doing great, Let's man. give this one to Lance. Hey, big boy. Just lost my job, but fuck the man because they are still paying me severance. Here's to me finding a new job and you continuing what you do best, making the best goddamn content on the internet. Cheers. Hey, Civilly San, thanks so much for the 20. Thanks for the nice message as well, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Congrats on losing your job. I hope you find another one soon. But until then, you're right. F the man. 99 Nine doesn't want to admit it. He doesn't he doesn't want to accept that it this is just the as good as it gets. He thinks there's better content out there, but there's not. This is this is incredible. This is as good as it gets, honestly. You can call me bald as well if you want though, that's fine. Yeah, he's crazy. You're right about that. You are right. Okay. The the uh the berries grow so quick. It's nice. Need some rice. We can harvest some more berries. Sure. Um furniture. There's an eclipse. It's fine. Let's just get some wooden stools. For these work spots. Just for now. Nice. Don't mind K. K is just making your little research lab even better, Ramsey. Even better. Wildlife. Let's go kill some raccoons and a turkey. Let's get some meat in. Um, we gotta, we gotta get Lance in here as well, right? Don't do that. Patient, bed rest, basic child care. So Lance can do. No oh, bed rest. What I missed bed rest on. On everybody. Lance, childcare, basic, smithing, tailoring, art, and crafting. Oh, researching 12. Okay, you know what though? You can do it as a, as like a, okay, look, put these on like a higher priority and then there you go. How's that? That's good. Can we make Lance's last name Hardcock? No. No. We've almost researched batteries already. Believe that. Make Lance the sandstone maker. Um, making blocks doesn't matter. He'll just do it anyway. Oh, you mean take Ramsey off of smithing and tailoring and crafting generally? So that he just does research and hunting? It's not enough for him to do though, right? We should leave um, crafting on as well, but smithing and tailoring he does not need to do. What happened to all the little ducks? Did they all die? Oh, they probably escaped, right? Okay. Batteries? Got them. Um, what do we want next? Probably tree sowing, right? So that we can, uh, we can plant some trees. It's a good one. They ran so far away because of the hole in the wall. You think that's why? 
They did it? They ran because there's just a big hole in the wall? All right, nice. So um, if I go to zone and I clear, remove a roof area, okay, perfect. My man, you live inside of a forest. How's that? Better? Hello? 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 Good. Much better. I um I I hit my desk and uh, and the and the lead came out. Sorry about this. Perfecto. The noise scared you? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't uh I didn't know what was happening. <gasps> Okay, it's probably not very cold in there right now, but we're slaughtering raccoons. Hey, we've almost finished all this stuff, too. It's pretty good. Okay, the air conditioning is on because the turbine is... It's not now. Okay, we're going to have to find a place to put some, uh, some batteries, right? We need a, a decent spot for some batteries. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can just put some in here. Power, battery. We can fit like three down here, or maybe we can just put them in here, in the hospital. Just for now. And then we can store up some of the excess. What's happening in this new run? We're just starting to kind of do stuff. Well, it's it's slow going, but there's solar flare now as well. Christ. <laughs> No, we haven't done a vampire run yet. No, we're. Tr I'm just trying to um, reacquaint myself with a normal run before I start doing like a some other run. You know, maybe we do a vampire run after or something. Okay. Furniture, wooden bed. Furniture, wooden shelf. A standing lamp? I don't know if that's a good idea, considering how little power we have. And also, the windmill is just not turning much. But it's nice that we have a little hospital. 
storage clear all in here we want uh manufactured medicine and we want it here too and we want these to be important priority Low medicine. I doubt it. Good. These guys are still playing horseshoe here. Let's move this so that they play it in here instead. In the atrium. This beautiful atrium that we're going to set up. Build another windmill. This one. This one's cranking right now. It's fine. Power. Let's get another battery. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, look at Jelly Bean go. Growth tier. Oh yeah, we need to set. We need a. Um, we need a little um, furniture. We need a school desk and a blackboard. It's kind of cute that we could like set it up in here in the research place. Cause like, you know, it's for education purposes, but at the same time, maybe we should just like set it up in here. Okay, let's just do it like this. It would be good for Jelly Bean to actually have some um, education, right? We have a, we we have quite a few colonists for once. Look at Ramsey, just burning the midnight oil here. Nice. It's minus five degrees in the, in the cooler as well. And even though the the turbines have stopped spinning, we got all this power stored in the batteries. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Quest active, a shit to the stars. Okay. Good. We've survived long enough to get that. We've got ducks making love out here as well. Can, can you believe it? These ducks are out here making love. Okay. Caravan from Uboom is approaching. They're a bulk goods trader. Perfect. Town guard Baird is the daughter of Ali. Holy shit. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay, let's go and um, kill this raccoon. And then let's also... Um, let's try to tame a, uh, a muffalo as well. Let's try to tame this muffalo. And then let's also kill this doe. Okay, good. Oh, Lance. We need some more food. Okay, Ali. Let's trade with these guys, see what they got. They'll buy our ducks. They can sell us a cow. A 16-year-old female cow. We could buy a bunch of cat meat. They're selling Ibex meat. It's not cheap, though. Cloth. Bird skin, light leather, lizard skin, plain leather, steel. Let's sell all this stuff for now. We're not going to make shirts out of this crap for now, right? 
187 bucks. And then let's buy all their Ibex meat. 189 meat. Is there anything else that we can sell them? All of our steel? We better not do that. Um, I think that's fine for now, right? Get rid of some of our money. Then at least Ali can make some meals. Hopefully we can get, get past this starvation. Good job, Chase. Good job. Hopefully people are cleaning up and stuff too. It'd be nice. All right. Now we got to start thinking about getting people um, bedrooms, right? Would be nice. Some little, some little bedrooms. Um, architect orders plan. Oh, we can't really, we can't really build into the mountain though, right? Not a lot anyway, so it makes more sense for this to just be a hallway that that goes down here and then maybe loops back around so that we can have some more little crafting rooms or something down here. And then if it loops back over and goes around, we want this to at least be six. So it can go like to here. And then this can be hallway up here. Like that. And then having these little outside unroofed areas might be good just for like generators and shit like that. So we'd have another room here next to the hospital, which could potentially be just a, a like a little crafting room with some storage so that it's more like um, one, two, three, four, five. You can have a, a little room here. Let's have an entrance here. I don't know what we... Maybe the comms room can go in here eventually. And then we'll have... A hallway that comes down here. So that means that if it's going to be like three at the top here... We want this to go down like this. <laughs> because of the chimney. <laughs> it's like a... I think that's fine. Look, three, 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 three. It'll be fine. And then you got a hallway that goes back over here and connects up with a big dining hall. And then we can have like residences and stuff. Oh, wait, hang on. But we've got this kill area. You know what, though? We can have a door out into here, into this, into the kill box, right? So we can clear some of this out of the way. And then snake this around more, and it'll probably be pretty good. Some walls here, too. One, two, three, four, five. We can make the rooms five by five. So we can have, like, a room here. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go like that. So that's three rooms. And then we do the same here. Yeah, it'll be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think this is fine. And then this can go up here like this. And then another hallway. One, two, three. Right? So we're just moving this wall out a little. Great. Okay, it's a lot of work, but we will do it. Structure sandstone walls. With sandstone doors. So that we can separate out the rooms. 
So now this is a kitchen. This is a kitchen. This is a hospital. It's rather tight. This is a lab. It's rather tight. <laughs> All of our rooms are going to be rather tight. Please no sandstone doors. Well, we're going to change them to auto doors once we have some more power. It's fine for now. We got to keep it we we got to keep it tough, right? We need it we need it tough. There, we got some meals now. Stone auto doors are also slow as fuck. So what's the best uh what's the quickest door? What door are we talking here? Wood. Wood or steel? Steel. Okay, I'll make them out of steel then. It's fine. I'll make the auto doors out of steel, all right? Don't worry about it. Orders? Let's chop some wood. Look at all this power we got stored up. The only thing we're using for power currently is one light. And uh, also a... Um, air conditioner furniture standing lamp let's get this set up for Ramsey be a bit nicer for him I'm prioritizing auto doors and tree sewing. I'm fucked. No, no. Come on. What do you mean? Look at this. I'm also prioritizing traps. Wooden spike traps. We can put one here. Oh, how do I do a corner? What's the best way to do a, a corner with this uh, with this setup? You just do a ninety degree turn. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed. It all makes sense to me now. Okay, good job. Good job. Really good job. Well done. Incredible job. Let's harvest some berries. Lance is on an insulting spree? Don't listen to him. Block your ears. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's on he's insulting everyone. He's gone to bed. Okay, it's fine. that rice we need the rice so bad uh zone growing zone yeah, these ducks are gonna eat all my rice aren't they they will you just know what's gonna happen okay let's grow some rice here you just got here and what is this base well look we're trying out we're trying out some new stuff. We're just trying to live our lives here. Just trying to live the best lives that we can under the circumstances. I think um steel and components we have some. We're just waiting for deliveries. We should have plenty of sandstone blocks. 
we can always get more too. There's there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can deconstruct here. These walls will just be blocked straight away. We don't even need to craft them. Orders, claim. Uh, we got a muffalo self-tamed. It's this one. Ali is running wild. This guy is, he's crazy. Okay, let's delete this zone. Um, let's just cut these plants. We lost our noble? Oh wait, does that mean that we have to um, tame him? He actually left the colony? That's insane. Orders. Remove plans. We have no no food to tame him with. We can't even tempt him with a meal. He's also our main cook. Oh no. This isn't good. He dropped his pants. I forbid you. This is our man. Oh. He was so good. <laughs> He's, his head has been eaten. Well, we lost someone. Fuck. That was our cook. Okay, Kay can do some cooking. But she's all, she's constructing as well, right? Oh, man. <laughs> That's brutal. How did that happen so quickly? I know they're pissed off because they have to sleep in, in these, like, shitty conditions or whatever. But, man, like, uh, he left? He, he went running wild? And then our warg killed him? No, the warg didn't have a psychotic break. <sighs> man, oh man. I can't believe it. The circle of life. I mean, I guess so. I don't get it. Okay, media bot, here you go. How's this looking now? Consumption's only 1.7. Growth is 4.51. We have we have no food. We're, we had so much food in the last colony, and now we just have, like, no food. We blasted through all of that, um, all that meat in like no time, right? We're gonna have to go out and kill some, um, kill some rams. Well, at least K isn't dead, I guess. We got a bit of rice here. <laughs> Chase just botches, like, every harvest. <laughs> oh, man. The worst. Okay, let's dismantle this. There's an ancient mech over there. Snuffle and the Cobras. A nine-year-old child named Snuffle is calling from nearby. He says a pack of three man-hunting Cobras are hunting him. He begs for safety and offers to join you at Florida. If you accept Snuffle, 
The man hunting cobras will follow in an hour. Snuffle is too frantic. Snuffle is a pigskin. It's a human pig hybrid. They are hardy and can eat almost anything without getting sick, but their trotter shaped hands are bad at fine manipulation. They don't see well at a distance, so they usually focus on close range weapons. They have a strong taste for explosives. Do we want a pig skin child? All right, fine. Whatever. Are there any holes in the wall? No. Okay, let's forbid any uh, exiting the base from here. Hey, Lance, don't do it. We got some cobras coming in. Snuffle joined. Lance, are you getting, you can't shoot at all, right? He's got a bit of shooting and melee. Chase got a bit of melee. He's frail, though. Lance? You can have this revolver. Lance dislikes rice. I can't believe Ali died like that. Snuffle? Ramsey's heading back here too? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's got bloodlust. <laughs> Moop Moinop. It's Moop Moinop. He's already part of the true patriots. He's just got to be converted to... Oh, we, we lost our big converter as well. It's going to have to be Chase now. Luckily, we converted Chase. Wait, did we even? No, we didn't even. I forgot to fully convert him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is brutal. Okay. Okay, go stand there next to the other kid. You guys can... Hi. Look at it. He's pretty cute, actually. One cobra down. Two cobras... Nice. Shoot. Holy crap. Okay. The cobras are all down. Alright. Whatever. Snuffle. I mean, maybe we can do something with Snuffle. I don't know. Hide in room. Jellybean is hiding in their room. Well, at least they didn't just run wild. Could have been worse. Floors. A rustic, a rustic rug. We don't have any cloth. start getting some of these bedrooms set up so that we can get on top of the mood here a little. We also need more food, way more food, but Ramsey has cooked up a couple of meals and has hunt has hunted a couple of things as well, right? Chase, can you please? We can always slaughter the muffaloes, right? We can always we can always slaughter the wark. It never stops, huh? It's an it's a Neanderthal. Strong melee, strong plants. He's a tough body purist. How many times have we been raided this time? It's been insane. There's only three traps left. Ramsey's on an insulting spree. Lance? Is this guy on his way in already? Alligator? Hey, look at this. He's attacking all this crap that I claimed that we haven't deconstructed yet.
All right. Lance and Ramsey. All right, he's coming around now. He's coming around. We got a couple more traps, but it's it's going to be pretty tough. These Neanderthals. We got killed by four one time. Ouch. Nice shot. Oh, nice shooting. Holy crap. Look at this. Oh, no. We got him. Um, nice. He had a whole bunch of pemmican on him. You think Snuffle seems pretty pleased with the joint? The warg is just going to start eating. Warg always eats their heads off. Which is kind of weird. Alright. We need more food. We've got a couple of meals here. But we always need more, right? Wildlife. Is there anything else that we can go out there and kill? We could probably... We could probably shoot um, one of these uh, muffalos, right? Or two of them. Who's our person? Who's our, our best bio person? Lance, K, or Ramsey? It's not Ramsey, that's for sure. Um, K has one social and Lance. Oh. I, I don't know how our, our how I don't know how our religion can survive, honestly. I, I I don't think it can. We lost our one person. Our one person who could have done it. One social it is. It's never gonna work. Oh man. Um are people upset that he that he died? Yeah, they are. Do we need a sarcophagus for him or at least just bury him somewhere? Cuz he kind of left the colony, right? He went running wild. He went running wild. Oh, let's just put a bit of sarcophagus, I guess. I, I don't know why he went running wild like that. He didn't need to. Um, architect, zone, remove roof area. So this one's ready to go. Do, do. Oh, man. Okay, there's a couple of animals that can be slaughtered here for for meat. Um, architect, zone, clear allowed area for wargs. We don't want you in here at all. Or in here, for that matter. So stay out. Get out. Don't you dare. Wait, well, come on. Oh, good. <laughs> Just in time. Oh, he got the memo. Finally. But it was close. Oh man. We have one meal. 
We have one meal. Oh. Oh, this is going to be big, actually. Come on, Ramsey. Don't give up now. Don't give up the fight. Looks like we got a mad rat on our hands. Nice. <laughs> oh, phew. All right, Kay just has too many building tasks to do now, but once we can get some of these people into bedrooms and stuff, hopefully we'll get less uh, breaks and stuff, right? The last trap was definitely built to work, yeah. We got a little tiny murder tunnel, but for now it's fine. Snuffle tried to convert Lance to his religion? Oh, it doesn't matter. Snuffle, well, actually, we, Lance is part of our religion, but he has no chance of actually converting anyone else. So we're kind of screwed. Oh, we got a couple of meals here. Quite a few, in fact. Nobody seems to be transporting them into the freezer. Once we get them out of sleeping in, in here, it'll be way better. I don't have the freezer designated for meals? I sure do. I definitely do. All right, doors, good. Kay's building skill is really good. Construction 14 now. She's just been nonstop constructing this whole time. Nice. All right, look, we have food. Really good. We should have uh, some some wool from uh, these muffalos as well. This one muffalo. Just keep like one at a time. Furniture, standing lamp. Oh my god. This is great. Really good. You made a jumper out of my mom's muffalo wool? Jesus. That's weird. Really weird. Maybe the weirdest. Do 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 Tree sowing! Oh my god! I can't believe it! We can actually uh, grow our own trees! Make some pemmican? Um, we get some auto doors? Maybe solar panels might be good? Uh, biofuel refining? Biofuel refining could be good too? Um, uh, maybe we should do that actually. Biofuel refining. And then we can get uh, some biofuel uh, generators. A masterwork, wooden sarcophagus. Nice. It might be too late to bury uh, what's his face in it. Contents. Yeah, see, I can't, um, I can't assign uh, what's his face because he's not considered a colonist. So there's no point in having this. We'll just save it for the next person. He also has no face. Yeah, I know. 
Where's the war gate? Ate him. Yeah, they're ha they're unhappy because he was their friend, but um, they don't have the big a colonist died debuff or whatever. So. How do the ducks keep getting out of this pen? Anyone know? Maybe we'll just never figure it out. All right. Quest available, the deserter. Artabas Aspietis, a military commissar, is calling from nearby. He has deserted the army of the Fallen Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join you in Florida. One trooper. All right. Well, guess what? We're not fighting a trooper, that's for sure. Snuffle? What are you doing? He's helping out. Holy crap. We're getting raided again? Oh, please tell me that the traps have been set up. They have not. Oh no. Okay, hang on a second. Let me let's let's just see. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Okay, they will prepare for a while. So we actually do have a chance to All right, they're right here too. It's just two archers. No problem. All right, we'll pick that up after. Gonna be really quick here. Goods trader arriving. Okay. We got more wood. Here they come. Oh god. Oh god. Just run. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. You have to be the meat shield for Kay here while she tends. Duck three, what are you doing? Can you believe duck three? Okay, Chase, now's not the time. Is this guy, uh, he's dead in 11 hours. Oh, we got all these guys here, too. Where's he going? Duck 3 is chasing him off? It appears to be the case. Where is he going? Oh, he's, f he's trying to hit Jelly Bean, who has left the... Wow, what a shot. He's attacking my ducks. Jellybean, where are you going? Don't do that. Just go hide in here for a sec. You too, Snuffle. What are you doing? There's a dangerous individual on the loose. Who is going to die in eight hours time. From bleeding. He's He is very much bleeding. Shot. Oh wow, what a what a great shot. That was nice. Okay. Whew.
hopeless vagabond. Stomp is approaching with a child in tow. They say that crop blights starve them out of their village. Stomp begs you for mission to stay at Florida for 15 days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. If you make them happy, some of them may offer to join you. They may also reward you later for helping them. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, the refugees have arrived. Let's see if they're any good. We've got a kid here. And Stomp. With 11 social. Oh, man. Okay, that's good. If only they were converted to our religion, though, right? Where is the food? Ah, well, there we got some food. Got a little tiny bit of food. Work. Stomp. Patient. Don't need to do doctoring. Bed rest, though, for sure. Um, warden, just in case. Handling. Cooking. Hunting. Not very good at anything, really. Old stomp. Can do some researching. For us. Maybe some handling. I don't know what Lance is going to do, though. What What is Lance... Oh, La Lance can do some uh, crafting and stuff, I guess. So maybe Stomp can just backfill? I don't know. Furniture. Let's get a wooden bed in here, too. Not quite ready. There's still, like, a little bit of work that needs to be done. We have to really prioritize getting these traps redone. Because we're still building so much stuff, right? We've also got uh, Stomp, who is able to do some trading with us. Okay, let's just sell all these ducks for 243 bucks. Um, we'll keep the muffalo. We got 13 pemmican. We got a bunch of cobra meat. Meat is quite expensive. Components, 37 bucks each. Holy crap. Let's sell all of this leather for now. 489 bucks. They got 200 Ibex meat. Let's take 100 of it. What else do they have? Plain leather pants, normal, 30%. They'll take them. A cloth kneel pillow. They got some uh, parkas that we don't really need. We got a normal flak jacket for 339 bucks. Um how much okay. So we'll make 25 bucks and then we'll take 200 Ibex meat as well. Sure. Storage Foods, raw food. Let's take meat in this as well. Okay, good. Lance is eating pemmican. Ramsey, how are you feeling? Spacious interior, quite comfortable, low expectations. Ate without a table, body modder frustrated, no patriotic cleric, awful barracks. This is just considered an awful bedroom. The impressiveness, completely awful. <laughs> oh no, he hates it. He hates his, he hates his, his place. He hates that he has to live here like this. Oh, he doesn't like his sandstone box. Can you believe it? What the heck? It's quite spacious, though. Furniture? Um, I think it's because we need end tables and, and dressers in here for them, right? Wooden end table? And then we could also get like a nice plant pot in here for them too, with their lights. 
What a big dildo. I know. Can you believe this fucking dildy? This huge dildy? I think them seeing dead bodies every time they walk out of the back here is probably not going to um, be too great either, right? Power, conduit. Go like that, and then we can go furniture. Wooden dresser. Standing lamp. And a wooden plant pot. Gotta start getting some buffs in here, right? There's a good end table. Chase is on a food binge. Chase, what are you doing, you dummy? You big dummy. We don't have enough food for you to go on a food binge. Who is the psychopath? Make a dumping area only they and the war can access for dumping bodies. Well, yeah, we could do, I suppose. Shiv him. Don't tempt me. Look at K go. Holy crap. Okay. So we have another bedroom here, potentially for somebody, if they want to take it. Snuffle, let's give it to Kay, actually. Um, there you go. <coughs> Perfect. Ramsey's meditating. Okay. Structure, sandstone wall here. Oh shit, this is all steel. I never noticed. The more you know. Can this not be accessed from this uh, side here? Out roads and outdoor walkways. They take a long time to lay and they're pretty to look at. So we just want this stuff in here too. Use up some of this crap. I don't know if this can be um, accessed. Do the bedrooms first. Yeah, you're right. When you're right, you're right. We'll make sure that the bedrooms get done first. It's more important, right? Chase no longer picking out on food. Good. They're going to be mad because they're soaking wet. We're out of food again. We'll have to go kill some hares. Maybe kill another muffalo or two. We should have some rice soon. Stomp is just sleeping. Uh, nice, nice. Okay, furniture. Stomp is just sleeping on the ground. it down I'm not refusing to hunt I'm doing it right now I'm hunting it's free steel okay Biofuel refining is done. Advanced lights, auto doors, solar panels. I guess we can get solar panels as well. Might be a, a good one. 
Geothermal power. Maybe we should just start working on that. We got a vent, like, so close by. We lost one of our batteries, it looks like. We need a bit of steel. I gotta go in a minute, chat. Okay, fine. We've got some rice, finally. If we can manage to get some of this harvested without botching it too much. Lance is having a sad wander. Don't worry, Lance. We got you. We're gonna we're here to help. Okay. What the hell? Sweaty slept in the heat, awful bedroom, no patriotic cleric, and my friend Ali died. There's just not much to be happy about in this stupid colony, is there? All right, fuck it. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, listen, uh, oh god, it's tough, isn't it? Restarting, we lost the other colony. Uh, it was my fault. I attacked um, a bunch of uh, barfs from Spaceballs who were trying to um, mortar me. I might be back later. I know it started well. I, you know what? We can recover. It's just a, we got way more colonists this time. Uh, but we've already lost one. It was kind of weird that he left the colony and then was attacked by the warg immediately. There you go. The ideology this time seems a bit weak. Yeah, it's not as fun, is it? The, like the uh, the the dopest theme is uh, was is really nice, right? The one this time just seems like there's just nothing to it, you know. Wargs don't like betrayal. I guess so. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, listen, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I will be back. Uh, I'm sure I'll be back at some point over the weekend, probably in the evening. Um, I'll likely be back tonight because I wouldn't mind carrying on what we started here. And uh, But failing that, I'll be back on um, Monday? I should be back on Monday. We still got some house stuff going on, but also I got a bunch of stuff to do on Monday. I will try to be here on Monday. Yeah? Okay. Listen, uh, thanks for watching the, the stream today. Thanks for watching the, uh, the hashtag ad. We did... Um, Age of Darkness Final Stand checked out the new uh, campaign as a hashtag ad and then we played uh, RimWorld for the rest of the day and lost a colony and started a new one. Yeah? You did watch the hashtag ad. Thank you very much. Um, listen, have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Um, and uh, thanks so much for um, all the subs and resubs and the donations as well. I appreciate all the support. And uh, I will see you um, soon. Yes? Okay, chat. LOL, lots of love. See you soon. Peace. Bye now. Bye.